Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, and this is my fashion and beauty channel. Um, I do fashion for plus size women um, or men, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, because I am a plus size woman with a apple shaped body. Um, if you don't know what that is, that basically just means that I am basically round all through my midsection. I don't have big hips and thighs. I don't have big boobs. I have a big belly in comparison to the rest of my body. Um, so I heard a lot of like buzz online like for a while now about a store called Pretty Little Things. And I never knew that they carried plus size or when they started carrying plus size. Um, but then I watched a review video and I saw that they had plus size stuff and it's similar to Boohoo and Misguided, um, you know, those kind of chunny pieces, cute little dresses and those kind of things. So I ordered, um, it's a very small haul, I ordered only four items because it was a brand that I had never tried out before and um, everything that I ordered was on sale and typically that's what I do when I'm trying out a new um, website or a new brand. I always try to buy things that are on sale so that I'm not spending so much money um, trying new stuff in case it just doesn't work out for me. Um, but at the same time, I try to find pieces that I can bring into the next season. Um, so, yeah, so I went on um, Pretty Little Things website. I really like the way the website is laid out. Um, I like when I change the, you know, country option like where you're shopping from or whatever or like um do not like monetary denomination when i change it to canadian then the sizes also change to canadian to kind of be equivalent so what i was looking at in a size 20 uk was showing up as a 24 canadian or you could choose the option like if you wanted a 22 or a 24 in you know what was comparable to canadian sizes so I really liked that option. Um, the only thing is that I did get my items really quick. I'm not going to complain. It came in a really cute pink bag. Uh, it said pretty little things all over it. And I liked the items when I pulled them out. I've only tried on one so far. I haven't tried on the rest of them. I'm going to do that now in the video. Um, but the item that I did try on, the one item... Um, I did buy everything in a size 24 just because they're UK sizes, like comparable to UK sizes and I know that they're a smaller fit or it's a junior plus, you know, website in my opinion. And the one item that I did try was a little bit snug, a little bit on the, not really short, it was just snug, like, uh, especially since I carry my weight through my midsection. Um, the way it fell just wasn't perfect for me. But, you know, I'm working towards new goals for 2018. And hopefully, you know, it'll fit a little better come the summer or, you know, later on in the year. So let me show you what I got. Um, two of the items I ordered, basically all four of these items costed, um, cost me just over a hundred dollars Canadian I think it was like 104 which is not bad I bought four dresses so I think that's pretty good you know roughly around 26 dollars a dress you know with the shipping from the UK it's not the worst um, and it was something that I wanted to try so the first dress that I got is was it inside out oh god hold on Alright, so it's a spaghetti strap. Now it's inside out. Shit. Alright. So it's a spaghetti strap, ribbed, you know, full wrap um, dress. So you can see this is the skirt part. It's quite stretchy, but not that much. It does have some, but it's like a stiff stretch. Um, and it's quite see-through because I can, you know, see you and I'm sure you can see me. Um, but I do really like this style and I feel that the wrap kind of accentuates a waist that is not exactly there in my on my body. Like, or where I want it to be at least. 
Um, and it's got, you know, the crossover on the chest. The only part that I found really short was right here in the middle. Like, my cookie was almost showing. The vajay, you know? Like, we don't need to, I don't want to show that when I'm out. Or, you know, if I have to, like, you know, bend or something. Um, if it was just a little longer, that part, then it would have been fine, I think. So this is called the Plus Black Ribbed Cami Midi Dress in a 24. It's not midi. Midi is like past your knee. This is above the knee. So I got it in black and I also got it in army green. Because I love army green. Army green is life. I want everything in cameo and army. It's my, my thing. So yeah, I ordered the same dress in both colors. I'm going to try them on now and show you guys what they both look like. And yeah, I really like the style, so I'm hoping I can get into these better. Um, come, I don't know, summer or something. But yeah, those were those two. Alright guys, so this is the wrap dress. Definitely needs a low cut bra, and I definitely need to, you know, fit into it better. I'm concerned about this section here because I don't like my inner thighs. You know, we all have our issues, it's nothing new. Um, so yeah, this is how it fits. I'll give you a quick little glance. So it's pretty long in the back, I just wish it was, had more coverage in the front. <laughs> As you can see, I'm quite uncomfortable in it and won't be wearing it anytime soon. And the green one is exactly the same, so that's this. The next item is called the Plus Black Cold Shoulder Eyelid Dress. Definitely not an eyelid dress. I, I don't know how they name their things. And definitely. I don't think this is a dress on me. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's short. So, it is cold shoulder. As you can see here, it's got kind of like a dolman short sleeve with the cutout. Um, both sides. And it's got this cute, like, you know, draw waist. It is quite, it is kind of functional. Um... It's kind of functional in the sense that the straps stop on the side. So it, it doesn't go all the way around the, the draw. You know, like the string to pull you in. Um, and I just feel like it's going to be a little short. Like, it's really not that long. But I mean, I'm going to try it on. Um, even if it is short, I think this is a great style that you can wear over leggings. You know, even like leather leggings. Um, it's just really cute. I really, really liked it. So, yeah, I'm going to try this on. I had to put it with tights because it's just so short. Like, here's my cooch. Here's where the top stops. It's too short for me to wear as a dress. Um, and then you can tie it if you want to. Like, I don't know. Would I tie it in a bow? I don't want to look pregnant. Although people do often confuse me for pregnant person I guess I don't really know I kind of like it like this but not really let's just do that I don't know I don't know it's kind of cute I don't know about the tie thing now that I have it on I feel like it's maternity ish anyways I just paired it with some crushed velvet tights I know they're like it's not holiday anymore but I just put on the first thing that I can find and here's the back so yeah, the string doesn't go all the way, it just goes up to like here. So you can see when I pull it, it doesn't go all the way around. I think if we could tie it to the back. Oh, hey. So, and the last item that I got is called Plus Black Ruched Side Tie. No. Thai Sai Bardo Midi. Now, this I can see is a midi because it's pretty long. Like, it looks pretty long. Like, look, it goes... Like, it's, 
it's a good amount and you can untie it and like oh no you can't stretch it longer no function there and this doesn't stretch this way I'm confused okay so this ruching is pretty much just for show you know usually the ruching you can stretch but this doesn't stretch and I feel like this is gonna be way small on me I just have that idea um, I mean it's slinky so it does stretch this way which is great um, and I think it's supposed to go off the shoulder a bit because as you can because when I think of Bardot I think of off the shoulder and it's got like the ruching on the shoulder part here with the longer sleeve I thought it was a really classic dress I mean if it looks good you know it, it'll be a good classic dress so yeah alright guys so this is a Bardot midi dress um like I said it doesn't like stretch lengthwise so like you kinda have to like pull it up and gather it and it is off the shoulder the only thing is this thing keeps flipping up I don't know maybe if I sewed it but I mean it's not too bad it's kinda cute these are not functional so you just tie them So yeah, this is the Bardot dress, long sleeve, off the shoulder. I mean, my overall thoughts, you know, even just trying the one, you know, you're going to see what these look like on me, and they're probably not the best fit for my body. Um, it's possible that, you know, I'm not in that size range yet. Um, I do consider this to be a Junior Plus um, website. Uh, it's not comparable to like Torrid or um, even to Boohoo. Like I find Boohoo is sized a little better than than um, Pretty Little Things. But nonetheless, I, I enjoyed trying out the site. I did get something for my daughter from there as well, some jewelry. I got these really cute um, earrings. I think these are cute for Valentine's Day. You know. Hey. Oh yeah, so it wasn't just the four dresses. So it was the four dresses, two pairs of earrings, and a pair of slides for my daughter for 104 So that makes it way better. And the earrings that I got, I don't know why every time I buy hoop earrings, they're like the size of my face. Like I can't measure online, I, I don't know. I wanted like another pair of hoops, but these are just way big. And like your girl doesn't have a neck, so I don't know. But I do like these, and my daughter did like the slides, so that's always good. These are real cute, see? So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you have tried out Pretty Little Things, if you even knew that they carried plus size, and what your thoughts are. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!